Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I want to use, introduce how we can use a diagram to help us uh, representing uh, relations. So in our last uh, videos, we already introduced how to, de uh, how to define uh, relations. We also introduced uh, for special type of the relations. And we, in the last video, we also introduced how we can use matrix to write our relation. So in this one, I will explain how we can use a graph to write or to give the definition of a relation. So here for this graph, uh, we need to use a direct graph to do it. So a direct graph or digraph which is actually consists of several uh, nodes of the vertices. We generally denote this as a side of V and also with some uh, edges of the ox, so which is actually is a part of the elements uh, of uh, in our uh, nodes V. So we denote this side as E and then for here, uh, for each of the age is from uh, a, uh, node A to node B. So we will call the first one as our initial vertex and the second as the terminal node. So this is our uh, terminology for the direct graph. And of course, some if there is an age actually come from the node uh, A from itself, then we will call this as a loop because in the graph, it looks really like a circle here. Okay, so then I know this terminology is kind of boring and hard to understand. So let's use an example to explain how we can draw a graph or the direct graph to write down this uh, relation. So here, if we have a four uh, point for our a, B, C, D as our nodes. So here actually this four of nodes is our element, you know, our site. So here, if we say this is a relation, which is from R is defined from A times A, right? Because in our last uh, previous lecture, we already know for the relation is always a subset of the product of two sides. So here, if we know this direct graph of our relation contains a four nodes, A, B, C, D, this means here for our domain of this relation side A, that means this will have actually four elements here. So they are A, B, C, D. So A, B, C, D. And then here we also have the side of the direct uh, graph as over A. So it's from higher of A, B. So it means this is H start from A in that B. And then we have A, D, B, 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 D, C, A, C, B, and uh, D, B. Okay. So this actually tells us what is the element in our relation. So if we have all of the age like this, so that means now what is the element in our relation? It's actually this part of the elements. So here, if we have all of this, so we know the side of this actually is our definition for this relation. Okay, so now let's we try to draw the direct graph for this relation. So the first thing is let's we uh, give the position of this four nodes here, A, B, C, D. So I say this is my A here, and then we will have our B and also C and D. So here, this is my A. So let me draw this, maybe use a point here. Okay. So this is my A, uh, this is my side A, and then this is my side B. This is my C, this is my D, okay? So then, if, of course, if you want to change the position of A, B, C, D, for example, you say, okay, B is not on the right of A, B is on the maybe uh, other under A, this is totally fine. So it's just 
uh, it just means you grew up maybe uh, not exactly same with me, but then the relation should say. So the relation means now we should have a, a rope from A directly to our B, right? So this it should be exact same. Although maybe the position of A B point uh, or the node is different, but this row should always from A start from A and goes to B. And then we also in the region we have A B. So there should be a row from A goes to B. And the next is B B. So for B B, it means this uh should start from B and also go back to B. So what we will have, we will have something look like a circle. And then the next is B to D. So it means start from B goes to D. And the next is C A. So it start from C goes to A. And the next is C B. So it's from C goes to B. And the next is D B. So it means now we not only have a row from start from B goes to D, we also have a row from D goes to B. So it's a backward. Okay. So now this is our graph of direct graph of this relation. This relation contains eight elements. So which is A, B, A, B, 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 D, C, A, C, B, and D, B. And also actually this eight uh, elements is also our age of this uh, direct graph. Okay, so far so good. So this is how we can use this right graph to show this relation. And here in this one, you can see we have one loop, which is, means this is a circle here, small circle here. This is start from the B and in at B. Okay. And also here I show this uh, graph uh, right by computer here. And then let me look one more example of how we can use a direct graph to show the, uh, to write down the relation. So here we have this definition, uh, or say this picture. So this is a direct graph with four nodes, one, two, three, and four. And also we have this is several eight here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, a nine, so two loop, so in total it's nine edge here. So for this edge, so we want to write down on what is our relation. So if we want to write down this, uh, so when we try to write down the relation here, actually it's really easy to miss some part. So what I prefer to do is generally we will fix one node and look at all of the edge start from this node. And if we find all of them, we move to the next node. And then again, we look at all of the edge, uh, or say a row start from this node. And after we write all of them, we move to the next node. So for here, let's we start with the node uh, one, okay? So here, let's we first start from node one. So how many rows start from this one? We have one, which is from start from one and goes to four. And then we have another one, which is start from one, goes to three. And is there any other row here? So yeah, so here we have three and other row, but it's not start from the uh, node one, it's in and node one. So here we just look at this two. So for this two uh, row start from the number one or node one, so it, this is, one three and also one four. Okay, so this is our first two elements in our uh, relation. And then let's me move to number two, the node two. So for node two, how many uh, row or age start from row initial from row two? We have this one. We have that one, and we also have a loop here, okay? So we have this three one. So this is one, uh, start from node two, goes to node one, either start from node two, goes to node three, and also one loop, so it start from node two, in at itself. So then let's be right over. So we have two 
uh, to one, we have the pair of two goes to three, and we also have the pair of uh, two to itself. Okay, so now we have uh, list all of the uh, age star from uh, node two. And then let's be moved to the next one about number three. So now how many age star from number three? So let's be see. So we have one here. We have a loop here. But is there any others? Yeah, there are still some other uh, uh, row uh, uh, linked with three, but they are goes to three. Now they are star from three. So we only have two H star from the number three or not three. So then this star from three goes to one. So this means three one three in our relation. And also we have a loop here. So it means three three also in our relation. Okay. So now we already finished the uh, H star from three of this nodes. So we only left one last one here. So this is a one with our node four. So for node four, how many row uh, eight here? So we have four goes to one, we have four goes to three. So then if we want to include this two, so it means four one should in our relation, and also four three should also in our relation. Okay. So now let's be count how many in total, how many elements in our relation. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In total, we have nine of them. And also how many eight we have in this direct graph. We have also nine here. So now we know, okay, we get all of these uh, elements in our relation. Okay, so far so good. So this is how we can uh, guys, the definition of the all of the elements of the relation from a direct, uh, a direct graph here. Okay, so now we already understand how we can, if we have a definition of a relation, how we can write a corresponding direct graph, and also we understand if we already have this direct graph then how we can find the all elements in this relation. So similar with our learning of how to use matrix to representing the relation, now we need to look if we have the graph or the direct graph of this relation, how we can find some property of this relation. Is there some special relation? Is this reflexive relation, symmetric relation, anti-symmetric relation, or transitive relation? So now what we can do is let me give you all of this characteristic of the graph will look like for this special relation. So for the first one is a reflexive relation. Reflexive relation is means if we have any elements in our set A, we should have AA is also in our relation. So here for this one, it means when we have this write down write this as a direct graph, then for all of the nodes, they should have a loop there. We have a small circle here. Okay. We should have an age start from all of the nodes and in at themselves. Okay. And then for the symmetric relation, for symmetric relation, it means if we have a B in this relation, then B A should also in the relation. So now What's meaning for A, B in the relation? It means that there should be an edge or a row start from A and in a B. And then for our symmetric relation, it means the opposite direction of the uh, direct uh, a row should also be there. That means the uh, uh, edge from A, B, there should also have an edge from B, A. So for anti-symmetric relation, so anti-symmetric relation means if we have the elements A, B in the relation, then B, A should not in the relation. So that means if here, what we know, it means if there is the H direct from A goes to B, then there shouldn't have a backward H here. So that means if we have A, B, uh, have a, a row from, start from A goes to B, 
then we shouldn't have a row start from B go to A. And the last one is trusty relation. So for trusty relation, it means if we have a, B in the relation, B, C in the relation, then we should also have a, a C in the relation. Okay, so now what we can find in the direct graph, it means if there is an edge start from A, B, and they also have an edge start from y, uh, B, C, then we should find they also have an edge start directly from A and directly go to the C. So they didn't have any, uh, middle point or middle node here, we should directly have a, a row start from A and goes to C. Okay, so this is how we can use our graph, direct graph to find this um, a spatial relation. So hopefully this is clear for everyone. And uh, this is the end of this video. And uh, thank you for your attention and see you in next video.